Hi, I'm Pat Barnard, TMCNet's Group Managing Editor, and I'm here with Joe Staples, Chief Marketing Officer for Interactive Intelligence, who's joined us here at, at the IT Expo Show West in LA. Hi, Joe. Thanks Hi. very much. Thanks, Pat. Welcome for welcome to our, our program today. Um, going to talk a little bit about the Ditch the Frustration campaign that you guys just recently launched. Um, just tell me a little bit about the idea behind this campaign. Um, what's the genesis behind it and, and uh, what's it all about? So the idea is on the internet you can find a lot of different tips and tricks and stories around customer service, but people have to do a lot of hunting and looking to get those. Right. So we really looked at creating a single source, a single place where both people that provide customer service as well as consumers of customer service can go mm -hmm. to get great information about how to deliver and how to receive good good quality service. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So this requires feedback from both the consumers, the people who are dialing into centers and actually experiencing the interactions from the cu customer's perspective, but also the call center companies that are delivering the services as well. Um, so how do you gather this um, information from both sides, this feedback from both sides, in order to build a good repository of, of information for people to use. So, so part of it was some initial work on our part to just go out and do a lot of that work of, of finding those things that are, you know, are well done, that we could get our rights to, to, to put out on the site. Mm -hmm. But then the site's also fairly interactive, so we're asking people to solicit their best recommendations, the experiences that they've had, mm -hmm. and then there's an opportunity for other people to comment on those and provide feedback on those as, as well. So there's a, a nice interactive part to it. Uh, we also have the ability to or, or provide uh, people the option to, to win some things based on, uh, on their submissions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what would you say on the consumer end of things are some of the most common complaints about what goes awry with a call center interaction? You know, I, what, what I would say probably wouldn't surprise you. I mean, it, it's certainly, you know, rude uh, behavior on the, on the part of agents, being put on hold too long, uh, a number of those fairly generic or general things. But what we've looked at from the consumer side is how can we help a consumer get better customer service? Mm -hmm. So we talk, uh, as an example, about making reasonable requests. So instead of, you know, if your flight's delayed, you're standing at the counter demanding that they charter a plane and take you home, you're not going to get anywhere. Right. So make reasonable requests uh, using some of the technology, for example, zeroing out to talk to a live agent once you get a little bit frustrated with an automated attendant menu. Right. So some of those kinds of things to, to help consumers be better consumers and in turn get Better, better service as a result. Right. Another good one is where the customer's information doesn't pass along when it goes from one agent or one interaction Huge to the next. Huge frustration. Yeah. Huge frustration. And that, the nice thing about that one is that can be solved by technology. Right. Yeah. Sure. So in terms of um, you know call center companies that are you know using this as a resource, they're obviously using a mix of different vendors. They all have their own different respective environments. So is it is part of the point here for them to be able to get to tweak? Their, their existing infrastructure and, and, and smooth out the processes that they're currently using to make them work better? Is that really part of the overall goal? Yeah, I, you know, I think that could be part of it. I think another option for them is to look at placing increased demands on the vendors that they deal with mm -hmm. to give them the technology and the training and the tools to deliver an enhanced customer experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And um, you're offering all of this information just on a completely non-biased, there's no strings attached or anything like that. You don't have to it's register, just, You don't. The, there's no charge for it. We no, just look at it and think, you know, the more we can contribute to the improvements of the industry of providing increased or better levels of customer service, the more we can do to influence consumers in the area of receiving and knowing how to get better customer service, the better off we're all going to be. Right. Okay, great. So suppose I'm a consumer. I've had this recent really bad or maybe really great uh, customer interaction experience. How do I get that onto the website? And by the way, there is a new website. Obviously, we should mention the name of the website. Um, but, uh, you know, I think it's www www.ditchthefrustration.com, is right. that right? Ditch the okay, so if I go and I visit that site, how do I share my experience once I get on the site? It's pretty intuitive. So you'll see links and there's opportunities to upload documents, to uh, write 
tips or, or tricks or best advice or to, to share experiences, mm -hmm. and then those get posted. Okay. All right, great. And then what happens to them after they get posted? Well, hopefully we get thousands of people that read them and, and can take advantage of the insight that other people are sharing with Okay. Them. So would anybody necessarily reply back through this form and be like, oh, here's a viable way of fixing this problem? Is that part of its purpose? Um, there's certainly an opportunity for an interactive conversation to happen. So uh -huh. people can comment on comments or posts that have, have been made. Uh, interactive intelligence has a, a pretty active group that reads those comments and, and will go in there and offer whatever insights we can as well. Right. I think one important thing to keep in mind too is this could just be one piece of an interaction that somebody doesn't like. I mean, overall, a lot of call centers do a really good job, exactly. but there could just be that one thing that a company keeps consistently doing wrong over and over again. Great way to like sort of drill down on that one particular problem, identify it first, but then drill down and find a solution to it, right? Agree. Yep. Good okay. point. Okay, great. Anything else you want to say about this nope. new campaign? www.ditchthefrustration.com. We hope a lot of people will go out there, not only read and learn, but contribute and, and help others that hit the site as well. Right. And there's a wide variety of resources on this site, too. Uh, white papers. Uh, are there case studies also? There's case studies. There's videos. There's some podcasts out there. Uh, so really, it's know, also a, entertaining kind of single, as well, isn't it? Single spot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the one of the very entertaining ones uh, out there is a, a video uh, about a guy who was placed on hold, fictitious video obviously, uh, placed on hold for five years. And uh, <laughs> you'll get a kick out of it. Yeah, that's a great one. Okay, great. We've been talking to Joe Staples, Chief Marketing Officer for Interactive Intelligence, coming to you live from IT Expo West. Joe, thanks very much for joining us today. Appreciate it. Thanks, Pat.